Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Slant, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. The first video of 2021. We made it. Sorry I'm late with this video. I just want to take some time off. I couldn't believe we actually made the 2021 with all the stuff that went on last year. But we're going to pretend 2020 didn't happen. We're going to move forward. It's a new year, new day. And I thought what would be a great way to start off the year with a video about new gear. Since it's a new year. I mean, around new year, new gear. Bars. Anyway, I will talk about something that I just got recently. If you didn't know this from the title of it. But this you probably know what it is. But pretty much this is a piece of gear that we all use on a daily basis basis it's something that we you know we always use no matter what no matter what our skill level is no matter what kind of studio we're in but we always use this all the time and having a good version of this product will just improve workflow and do other good things that have better benefits so today we're talking about my brand new studio desk that i just got called the rba audio ls840 it's a studio workstation i just got it i love it it's a very budget friendly but high quality studio desk i want to talk about it and maybe if you're interested in it i'll put links in the description below where you can buy this as well so let's go ahead and jump to it so i said i'll go ahead and show like videos you'll see some videos of me pop up some b-roll me putting together and all that so yeah but i do want to say shout out to sweetwater and my representative being they were really helpful with me getting that this is not a paid video they didn't pay me to do this they didn't send this to me i bought it from my own money my own hard-earned cash that i've been getting that stimmy check <laughs> and yeah so i bought this and you know they helped me out so if you need anything definitely check out sweetwater because they're really good hey and sweetwater if you're watching being you know hey send them my way I'll, I'll review stuff for free you know i'll do some product reviews send me some stuff come on come on guys come on love you guys but anyway let's talk about the rba studio disc right here so rba audio been making studio discs for a while and i've been kind of in the market for a new studio disc because i've had had a simple amazon uh, desk for a while it's about 120 bucks very cheaply made it wasn't cheaply made but this is one of them very cheaply made well, i don't keep saying cheaply made but it's one of them cheap uh office desks you know it had a nice little glass top on it but it wasn't built for a studio like i said i didn't have enough room for my rack gear i had multiple pieces of rack gear i had three to be exact and i didn't have enough room for it and it was just i didn't have room for my uh keyboards and none of that stuff it just pretty much uh, a mess y'all seen videos of it and all that and also the keyboard tray that holds your keyboard and mouse broke off within a year so and i had that disc for about three years so yeah it, it was a struggle but it worked it lasted it was good it had wheels on it whatever but yeah i needed something that was legit studio desk now studio desk can range from different prices they, they can go all the way to a thousand dollars and there are some more cheaper more affordable smaller ones but those aren't the ones you want to really get you i wanted to go for like a mid-tier one that was fairly decently priced and good build quality had good reviews and at first i was looking into the output desk now i work with the output desk those things are huge they're really good built but they're huge two man operators putting together and they're pretty expensive i think mean, for the one without the tray it's like 599 600 and the one with the tray is like 699 which i need a keyboard tray because i don't you know it's just uh, and like i said it, it was a pain to put together i put one together and didn't really you know enjoy it but then came rba they had some nice desks out there there was one that was the same price as the um the output desk about seven hundred dollars and it had three racks and all that it's pretty good pretty decent um reviews were kind of mixed and i was like eh, i might get that one because it was easy to put together at least and that's what i like about the rba stuff very easy to put together but then they just released this this is the ls840 by uh, rba audio and i have to say this is probably the best budget friendly easy to put together desk out there now this desk compiles of three tiers you have one tier your bridge up there for your speakers or your dual monitors or whatever then you have two for you rack spaces so you can put up to eight pieces of gear that'll run you rack or two pieces that are you know for to you and so on you know do the math whatever but yeah two bays for rack mount gear good for me because i have a compressor i have my power strip and i also have my interface fits in there nicely and i do plan on getting more stuff and having two is good enough for me for like me i'm not trying to go super crazy with the gear but i do want to select the pieces again it's good to have them right in front of you because it just makes it a lot easier it has nice cable management in the back then it has a nice uh desk right here as you can see i'm gonna show some b-roll i got my keyboard and my synthesizer nicely up here and then i have my nice keyboard tray which the keyboard tray is nice and smooth and you can also just pull it all the way out press two buttons and it'll actually slide out if you want to remove it if you know you need more uh knee room or you don't need a keyboard tray that's dope right there like i said as far as putting this desk together 
easy. The packaging was amazing. It came in a nice small box with small as you know a desk would come in, but it was easy to put together. The only thing I had trouble with was the goddamn wrap they put in. They wrapped the hell like Sweetwater, y'all wrapped the hell out of this or LB Auto, whoever wrapped this desk, y'all went ham with it. So I had I struggled with getting the wrapping out for it. But once I got that out for the manual, pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to follow. Like I said, once you put everything together separately, it's just like Lego blocks. You just connect them one. Like I said, I did it all by myself, one man operation, fairly easy. All you need is a screwdriver. I did use power tools, as you can see in the B-roll. But yeah, it was pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. And like I said, once I put it together, the desk was great. I love it. The feel, they have two versions of it. They have the all black version and they have one with like an almond trim, which, you know, is a little flashy for me, but I won't straight blade no stealth light. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. Easy to put together, great desk, very solid. I mean, it's nice. It has enough room for all my gear. I mean, it's a great desk. It's a great desk. It is height adjustable as well. Um, the one thing I don't like about it is how you have to adjust the height. You actually have to screw, unscrew the feet and you have to adjust it to the next hole. I put them in like the default position and that worked for me. It fits good for me, but if you're a little taller or a little shorter, you might need to put them in the other holes. Uh, I would suggest putting it together um, and then seeing if it's you know the right height before you continue on upward with it. Cause Oh, I hate for you to get all the way through and you're like, oh, it ain't tall enough for me. So put it together and put one of the sides together and sit it beside you and see if that's going to be high enough for you. you need to go higher or lower. Okay, kind of, that's how I had to do it to kind of judge it. I wish they had a better way of adjusting the height. Maybe like some st stools or something like something you can like slide on the feet to actually increase it or, you know, make it lower or whatever. That would have been dope. Um, you know, that's a little eh, I didn't like about that. Um, other than that i really didn't have no problem with it uh i do like like i said the rack mount uh you um bridge or whatever really nice very clean they got cable measurement holes in the back i mean it's hard to say it's just it's a desk it's a desk it's studio desk. and i will say because the studio desk now i'm more productive i'm more focused it looks better for my clients so when my artists come over they see this nice desk see my gear in front of it and all that they just they're inspired, inspired right away and it makes me more inspired too it makes it easy for me to work so i can just grab a knob turn stuff while i'm mixing in my position and it's just it's just better it's nice and small nice and compact and it's pretty affordable at only 399 it's a 400 desk that is packed like this it's it's kind of hard because other desks in that price range are pretty to either like the little small one you rack ones that are really flimsy and cheap and all that but this is a solidly built desk for 399 but i will say this they are going fast people are buying these real fast like i said i had to get the second round of orders because the first round they sold out instantly and they're sold out again but they do get shipments fairly quick so you can go to sweetwater right now pre-order it and they'll get to like i said once i pre-ordered it as soon as the shipment came in they shipped it out the same day and i got it within two days two three days and i was up and running so uh and it doesn't come with rack screws they come with four so you will have to make sure you order you some rack screws if you have multiple gear or you can go to Lowe's or whatever and get some screwdrivers that fit the holes uh that's one thing i had to do because i had no screws so yeah but other than that I love this desk, great desk. Um, so yeah, all links in the description below if you want to check this desk out. Like I said, having a good studio desk will improve workflow, will improve motivation, and will just make things a lot easier for you in the long run. And like I said, it looks eye candy. It looks good for if you have artists over and all that, and you know, take studio pictures and all that. It just looks good. So yeah, that is the RBA Audio LS840 desk. I love my baby. I hope it lasts me a long time, which I'm pretty sure it will. And yeah, I recommend this desk to anybody who's looking for a new desk that's affordable and functional. So there it is. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it. Always you know who it is, your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, not motivated by the money, but the like, comment, subscribe, and views. And with that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel 2021. We're going in and we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoy it. Like always, catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. I'm out. Yeet.